Hello everyone, we are Team Zebra and our project is Printer Real-Time Torque Measurement. Our team's technical director is Matthew Corbiz, a URI alumni who graduated with a Master's of Science in Mechanical Engineering and is a part of Class of 2016. Our team is comprised of myself, Chris Medeiros, and my two teammates, Moboy D.A. and Jose Valdez. I am the team's computer engineer and will be a part of the class of 2021. And Jose and Moboy are both electrical engineers who will also graduate in 2021. Zebra is located in Lincoln, Rhode Island, although they have many other locations all over the world. They were established as a company in 1969. They are known as the market leader in mobile printing technology, as well as being industry leaders in segments such as barcode scanning and specialty printing. The motivation for this project can be broken down into two sections, the first being correcting the printer media sticking issue. Zebra runs into an issue where certain media will stick to the print head while printing, which is caused by the heating of the media through the print head. We plan to be able to gather torque data of the motor via a torque transducer to observe these issues and take proper action to correct this problem. Secondly, since our design is based on a past fixture design, we plan to improve upon this design by interfacing all peripherals to one device. We will have a custom PCB manufactured to perform all functions that were previously been performed through multiple devices. Our anticipated best outcomes would be ease of test as well as reliable data collection. We are designing our system to have a user-friendly interface and faster troubleshooting capabilities. This will in turn reduce testing and troubleshooting time for Zebra technicians and making the process more economically efficient. Data collection will also be improved as printing conditions will be more accurate and printing quality will improve overall. This will improve customer satisfaction as well as Zebra's ability to address customer complaints, generating more economic growth for the company. The anticipated best outcome was not fully achieved. Initially, the best outcome would have been a system that interfaces the transducer, printer, and stepper motor to one device and has a user interface for the test technician to navigate and get torque measurements. What we have designed and created is a working prototype that is able to accurately print a label in some stepping modes. The system is ready to be interfaced with the torque transducer and data acquisition unit for obtaining flattened torque measurements. This is our prototype design diagram showing how our components function together. The STM32 sends a signal to the MCP42010 based on a user input. From there, the digital potentiometer sets a resistance that is fed to the FB voltage divider on the TPS56339 buck converter. The buck converter will then supply the proper voltage to the DRV8424 motor driver to power our hybrid step and motor. These are our team's key accomplishments. First, we create an Excel sheet that was later translated to C code, which syncs the platen's rotation with the hybrid motor. Next, we assemble our prototype, which uses the STM32 as the MCU, the MCP42010 digital potentiometer, and TPS56339 buck converter for voltage control, and the DRV8424 motor driver to drive the hybrid stepper motor. Finally, we were able to correctly capture an input step signal through the STM32 software and output a step signal to correctly sync the hybrid motor speed with the plan to print accurate labels. One of the major tasks of this project is to take a Zebra printer's motor driver inputs and sync that speed to a new hybrid stepper motor. A big step in getting there is calculating how to match those step signals up so they essentially perform the same task. This hybrid stepper motor will be a replacement to the typical motors that Zebra uses in their printers. Team Zebra implemented this calculation in an Excel sheet, which essentially simulates what the microcontroller will do later on. The user will input five conditions, full steps per line, flattened diameter in millimeters, micro stepping resolution of the printer, speed in inches per second, and dots per inch. Using these parameters, we implemented functions that calculate the hybrid motor's PPS rate, as well as the accuracy of the calculation. Later in the semester, the Excel sheet template that was created was then translated into C code. Based on the user's inputs, the software would select the most accurate stepping mode and resolution to accurately print a label in that mode. The software takes in parameters that then calculate every resolution and selects the best one available by checking for the least amount of error when compared to the round number. In order to create a prototype, we had to carefully select our hardware so that it would operate exactly how we needed it to. 
Starting with our microcontroller, we selected the STM32F767ZI to serve as the unit that will control our system. The STM sends out and receives all necessary signals to make our system function properly. We also selected the TPS56339 buck converter to control our voltage. In tandem with the buck converter, we also selected the MCP42010 digital potentiometer to be able to control the voltage through the STM software. This voltage will be provided to the motor driver, the TIDRV8424. We selected this motor driver to support a 24 volt and 2 amp drive current, a step direction interface, and have capability to be able to 256 step our hybrid stepper motor. Hi, my name is Moboy Jie, one of the electrical engineering student. And as you're seeing in this slide, we have all of the components that make up the prototype and the cycle under which the voltage and current control also occurred. Keeping in mind what I had said in the previous slide of the prototype, in this slide, um, I'm demonstrating to you of how everything was put together hardware-wise. So starting from the left corner, Bottom left corner, excuse me, we have the buck converter. To the top left is a motor driver board. Um, to the center, top center is the sample motor. To the middle in the breadboard is the digital part. And to the right is the microcontrolling board, the SCM32. The buck converter in the digital part were the two devices that made the voltage control mechanism work, um, not without the help of the STM. So what we did was uh, place the digital potentiometer as the second feedback resistor in various resistors through, through to the STM to change that voltage uh, that's coming out of the buck converter and so that that voltage can then be taken and brought into the DRV and power it up and so the DRV can function. So um, current control was needed because the motors came with their own specification of which current that they can run under and so to uh, change that current or give it the desired current, we needed to scale the VREF voltage of the DRV through the, the SDM software wise and tell the DRV through the, the SDM the duty cycle that we want to have going into that DRV so that it could relate the same information and give out the proper current needed for that motor so that that motor is capable of working out and not, and avoid overheating. Hello, my name is Jose Valdez and I'll be talking about the process of how an accurate printed label was achieved using our prototype. So after having all components interfaced to our microcontroller unit, the next task was to match the degree step of the printer's platen to the stepper motor. To accomplish that, the step signal of the printer needed to be modified before going into the stepper motor motor driver. And thus, the microcontroller input capture and PWM features were used. So, to accurately measure the period of the printer's step signal in the range of and around 4 kilohertz, the rising edge to rising edge input capture was implemented on timer 2, which has a 32-bit auto reload register and up to 108 megahertz clock frequency. This high auto reload register value in conjunction with the fast clock frequency 
captures accurate rising edge to rising edge timestamps, which are used to calculate the input frequency and then modified with the PPS resolution factor. Once the period of the printer step signal is calculated and modified with the PPS resolution factor, this new value is introduced into the auto reload register of timer 5, which is used as a PWM output waveform that is sent to the motor driver to properly step the hybrid motor to match the platen's degree per step. In addition to the step signal, two other signals from the printer are fed to the microcontroller. These are used to create printing conditions that would ensure the motor steps only while the printer is in printing mode. This results in labels being printed with accurate and adjustable resolution, as you will see in the following demo video. Hello, uh, this is uh, Team Zebra. Um, this is our prototype for our project. Um, as you can see over here, we have our hybrid stepper motor, transducer, our printer, our microprocessor STM board, our motor driver board, which is powered by a power supply, which uh, supplies in the, uh, the stepper motor. Uh, the, the purpose uh, of this uh, prototype is to um, Ma to match the these uh, the platen's um, uh, rotation here, degree rotation, um, so that the stepper motor, hydro stepper motor, can match that, um, and get a uh, well printed uh, label, um, as well as uh, measuring the the torque um, of that of the platen there. Um, so over here, in order to do that. Uh, we have our printer sending a step signal to our uh, to our uh, STM board, as well as two other signals, uh, the enable and sleep, which we use uh, as conditions to only turn the motor, step the motor when it's uh, in printing mode, when the printer is in printing mode. Um, with that, we have the step uh, signal being captured uh, by the input capture of our microprocessor STM32, uh, and then it sends a PWM uh, signal, uh, which is um, um, calculated uh, with the desired resolution uh, to get a well-printed uh, label to match the the platen's um, uh, rotation, as uh, uh, as well as the stepping uh, the stepping modes. Um, uh, connections as well as all the other uh, required ones to our motor driver. Uh, then the motor driver uh, sends, um, it, it gets a maximum 24 volts, um, uh, three amps. Uh, however, for for the purpose of, uh, we're using a uh, 1.5 uh, uh, amps um, output to the, um, to the stepping motor driver, which is set by a VREF um, voltage PWM uh, signal going into the DRV uh, motor driver. Um, and then uh, over here, it sends uh, the signal to the stepping motor. And uh, as you can see, we're gonna do a demonstration print out uh, a label in uh, quarter stepping and later in eighth stepping mode. As you can see, uh, we've uh, matched up uh, pretty well the uh, degree rotation of the uh, platen over here, uh, as we have a uh, well-printed uh, label. Uh, we'll also show a, um, a, so this is in quarter stepping. We'll next do a uh, eight stepping uh, mode uh, printout. As you can see, we also have a pretty well uh, printed uh, label. Um, so even finer, because uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, better, you know, higher stepping uh, gives a, a better resolution. As you can see, that was a, a pretty well uh, printed label as well. 
um, thank you for uh, watching. We would like to acknowledge our technical director, Matthew Corviz, our program director, Professor Sunak, and give special thanks to our dear Joe, Patrick Hergerty, Zebra Electrical Engineer staff member, our coordinator, Alex DePetrillo, and our PCB design professor, Mike Smith. Thank you all for your continued support.